Hi. So today we're going to be talking about yet another BuzzFeed video that spends its entire time erasing bisexuals. So which video am I talking about? Well, about 10 days ago, there's a video released called How I Discovered I Wasn't Straight. And in it, this BuzzFeed employee goes out and uh, describes her journey of how she discovered she wasn't straight. Now, before we jump into all the things in this video, I like to talk about some basic stuff, some just basic understandings about bisexuality. First of all, there's a difference between um, sexual orientation and sexual identity. Sexual orientation is the observable stuff. Like, if you were to fill out a questionnaire, a person will be able to look at that questionnaire and say, okay, this person is either homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual. And there are only three categories. Like it or not, right now, in terms of sexual orientation, there are three categories. Homosexual, heterosexual, and bisexual. Then there's sexual identity. Sexual identity is how you just choose to call yourself. Like, this is your name. So there's things like, there's bi, and there's flu, and there's um, pansexual, and there's omnisexual, and, and all these other things, including that is gay, it's straight, it's queer, and mostly straight, and whatnot. So that's some basic stuff. Now let's talk about some other basic stuff. Some other basic stuff is that over the past 40 years, the LGBT groups around the world, specifically the United States, have taken in tens of millions of dollars to help educate uh, people and to help support the health of, of LGBT people. They've gotten it from private donations and they've gotten it from um, the government. Now, out of that tens of millions of dollars, there's other people who've broken down the numbers more, but essentially it's important just to point out in this video that less than 1% of that tens of millions of dollars have been devoted specifically to bisexual causes. Now, to think that the people running these groups aren't like really, or they aren't just not animals, that they're actually human beings that are actually trying to do them something good. Let's think of the idea that maybe what they thought is that if they just spend money on gay people because bisexuals are really just gay, it will also help bisexuals. I mean, that's not a crazy thought. I mean, it's an incorrect thought, but it's not a crazy thought. But let's now take a look to see whether that's worked. So over the last 20 years, we have a situation where the health outcomes of gay people have increased tremendously. Like the suicide rate used to be really bad. Now it's not as good as straight people, but it's really took a big jump up. Now, can the same thing be said for bisexuals? The strategy of spending money on gay people will help bisexuals? It has not. Over the 20, past 20 years, the attempted suicide rate and the suicide rate amongst bisexuals have remained the same or gotten worse. Um, the amount of rape that bisexuals have to deal with is still significantly higher than straight people and gay people. The amount of sexual abuse, the, um, the, the health outcomes in terms, of, um, in terms of depression, in terms of drug use, in terms of alcohol use, in terms of obesity, all those things are significantly worse for bisexuals than they are gay people. So that means that the LGBT community thought that they could spend money on um, the gay community and that will just help everyone who's LGBT, then they are sadly mistaken. They have failed tremendously. So the idea that bisexuals are really just gay doesn't work in the real world where you're trying to help people. Basic facts, okay? So those are some basic facts. Now let's talk about this video from BuzzFeed where this person comes and says this. I'm attracted to both men and women. Now I wanna ask you, how many times in this video does this person who also says this, but growing up, the only types of sexualities that I was taught about was homosexual and heterosexual. Identifies as bisexual because we know sexual orientation, sexual identity, she's using the word homosexual and heterosexual, so she probably doesn't have a word using the word bisexual. But how many times does she say the word bisexual in this video? Zero. Zero times in this video does she say the word bisexual, not a once. How many times did she say not straight? Well, let's see. It, not straight, that I wasn't straight. That I was not straight. That I wasn't <laughs> straight, basically. Now, how many times does she identify herself as gay? Let's take a listen. I'm gay a little. Making gay stuff. Gay feels kind of right. Me in my big old gay face. I'm Gay? Knew I was gay. Mommy's talking about being gay. I was gay, not everyone else. So what is the message here? The message here in this video is that although that her sexual orientation is clearly bisexual, she is just gay. Now, that's bad. That's bad on its own. 
But what makes it worse is her saying this. To get that frantic baby gay call? Oh, baby gay Chantel was so confused. That's right. So she is a baby gay. Now let's unpack that, shall we? So what does that sound like? If you're a baby gay, that means that at some point you're going to grow up and become an adult gay. So what are you doing right now that's baby gay? Well, the only information that you've given the viewer is that you are attracted to both men and women. So if you are attracted to both men and women, you're a baby gay. Since everyone in the world knows what the gay word gay means, and it doesn't matter what you think it means, you're using a word that everyone has decided has a definition. And what is that definition? It's homosexual. So that means that if you're a baby gay and you are attracted to men and women, when you grow up and become an adult, you are going to become a homosexual. That is the connotations of what you are saying. So you can deny it as much as you want, but everyone uses the word gay and we all know what it means. And what does that really sound like? Well, what is the biggest stereotype amongst bisexuals? I know it's by now, gay later. Does that sound familiar? Oh, baby gay Chantel was so confused. My God, what do you think you're doing? You are making a video on the largest platform in the world for bisexual education and you are erasing bisexuals. You are saying that bisexuals are really just gay. And it's not like you just said it once, you kept saying it over. I'm gay? And over. I'm just talking about being gay. And over again. I was gay, not everyone else. Do you think this is helpful? Do you think that you're making the bisexual community stronger for this? Do you even care or do you just care about clicks? Really, because you say this now and you post it, I'm sure you're proud of yourself and everyone's patting, their, patting you on the back for doing this. Oh, this is so great. In two years time, you're gonna look back at this video and you're gonna realize that you are a part of the problem, that you made a 10 minute video. They got probably up to what? 2 million views, 3 million views at that time about erasing bisexuality, how you are just gay, even though you described yourself as liking both men and women. You're gonna be so ashamed of yourself in two years and, and you're gonna go, why did I possibly do that? But that doesn't matter because right now you've already done it. And how would you prevented it? You could have taken some responsibility and spent maybe a day in your life educating yourself on this topic. Why the hell didn't you do that? Why did you think it's more important to get clicks and to get views and to raise your Instagram um, following and whatnot than to just make it better for other people like you? To take a moment to educate yourself on the topic before you and your minority group decide to become a spokesman for your minority group and spread information that makes other people's lives worse. You think you could have done that? You think you could have taken one second to do that? And you know what? I blame you 75% of the way because you know where the other 25% of the responsibility goes and maybe it should be up to 50. It goes to the company that you're working with because if you, would, if you were a vlogger, if you really were just a person sitting in your bedroom and you were saying things that are incorrect, you know what? That could be forgiven. Why? Because you don't have any resources if you are just a single vlogger in your bedroom doing videos about bisexuality. Funny thing is that everyone who seems to be doing videos about being bisexual, who's a vlogger, is getting it all right. But you, who have all the resources of BuzzFeed at your fingertips, you decide to make a 10 minute video erasing bisexuality. So not only are you responsible for this, but the million or billion dollar company that you work for is equally responsible for this too. Because you know what? If you would have made a stupid video erasing homosexuals, let's say for example, talking about how uh, gay conversion works. If you would have said something stupid like that in your video, everyone above you who approved this would have gone, oh no, no, you can't do that. You can't say that. And you would have said, oh, but this is just my experience. I'm just talking about my experience of how gay, how gay conversion worked. They absolutely would have vetoed it. And it doesn't matter if they were straight or they were gay. Why? Because the straight people in upper management have gotten education about this. And they understand there are certain things you don't say because it hurts the gay community. They have educated themselves about this. And you know what? I am absolutely positive you guys have gay people in your upper management because you are a highly liberal company and you wouldn't dare not have a gay person up there 
So you know you have that. So that person also would look at that and gone, even if the straight people would have let that go by, the gay person would have gone, hells no. There's no way we can put a video like that out there. But no, you work at BuzzFeed and this video got through. Why? Because no one over there is educated on this stuff. Oh my God. How would you possibly be the largest educator of bisexuality online? Literally the largest one online and not have one person who's educated enough on bisexuality to nix this video. Why the hell? Why the hell would you do that BuzzFeed? And it's not even like this is the first time you've done it. This is the second time in a row. Do you not know the other one I'm talking about? How about this? I usually say I'm bi, yeah. but it does feel specific. Yeah, but the question is, how do you know that you're gay? That's a good question. That's right. That's interestingly edited, how a person just says they're bisexual, and the next line is, how did you know you were gay? So it seems like there's almost a pattern developing here. And I'm not saying that you have not done good videos in the past, but the turnover there is so fast that no one seems to have a good grasp of anything. And if there's only one person who's educated on bisexuality and they leave, suddenly all that information is gone. Here's an idea, BuzzFeed. You are in Los Angeles. Los Angeles has the largest bi group in the world in it. You with the Try Guys have actually marched at Pride for the first time with a bi group. The resource is all over the place. There are a number of people who will come to your company and educate people on bisexuality and do it for free. Mimi Wong, Faith Shalan, I, hey, I can't pronounce your last name but she is a friend. And I have seen both of their seminars at least two or three times because I have a channel educating people on bisexuals, on bisexuality, and it's important to be educated before you put them out um, because you don't want to spread incorrect information if you are bisexual in a part of the community. That's right, I have less than 10,000 subscribers and I thought it was important enough to attend seminars to educate myself on this, yet, at BuzzFeed, where your videos routinely get millions of views on bisexuality, no one has the foresight to educate themselves on bisexuals, even though the resources exist really just a few miles away from you. What the hell is going on over there, BuzzFeed? You're asleep at the wheel and you're making life worse for everyone. My God, people, wake up. I hope. I hope that someone hears this over BuzzFeed and understands what stupidness is going on there. You have to stop this. Like it or not, you have become the largest educator on bisexuality in the world. How about taking a few hours out of your goddamn life and learn a little about it? and learn maybe some of the big issues on it. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do videos about erasing bisexuals. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have gay people on our videos quipping about how bisexuals don't exist. You know who I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe if you actually retreat, treated bisexuals with respect and treated them as if they were the 14% of the population, like the CDC study indicates, maybe, then we wouldn't have videos like how I discovered I wasn't straight. No, not bisexual. I just wasn't straight. I'm gay. Although, honestly, you know, I'm attracted to both men and women. But you know what? Baby gay here. That's what's going on. Thank you for that. Thank you for making the life of bisexuals worse. And you bisexuals who are watching this, do not let them get away with it. You want to not watch? Great. But even better, why don't you tweet them? Why don't you tweet any of the people who do social media because they're so important about, so, you know, attached to social media. Tweet one of them and let them know, hey, you got to treat bisexuals better. Do anything, anything that you want because these people have to wake up. You are asleep at the wheel and you need to wake up or get out. So, hey, I get it. People need time to learn this stuff. Chantel needs time to learn this stuff. But Chantel, if you're gonna make a topic about bisexuality and there's no other large voices in the world making videos about this, then it is your responsibility to take some time out of your life and to educate yourself on the topic before you raise your social profile and your status and uh, go out for your clicks. That's all I'm asking. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. So please, 
BuzzFeed, look up some of the people who educate about bisexuality. They're based in Los Angeles. They'll come to you for free. Or you, you can send one person, one upper management person to educate themselves on the topic. Just send one. Just send one to learn about it, to oversee every, all the crap that comes out of there. Don't you think that's like worth doing since you claim to be such a liberal outlet? Please, stop making life for, other, for, life for bisexuals worse. And try and be like a, a positive force in the bisexual community. Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. So, guys who are watching this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But more importantly than that, do something. Tweet Chantel Houston or DM her or just let her know that she has made a mistake here that maybe in the future she can be better because just because she's made this one mistake and has spread misinformation, has spread the stereotype to 1.7 million people right now and probably more millions in, in time to come, just because she's made this mistake doesn't mean that she doesn't have time to make things better in the future. So educate her to let her know that she made a mistake so that she has time to do things better in the future. Same thing with BuzzFeed. Please, there are times when we can't be silent. This is one of those times I ask you, do something. Don't just sit back and like this video. Don't just do that, but also take a stand and do something to make the situation better. They will change their behavior as long as people like us state what they are doing and point out how horrible it is they're erasing bisexuals. They will change. We just need to let them know what they're doing and to be really strong about it and to let them know that we're not willing to accept this. And really, Chantel has got to grow up. So that's the video. Um, all I can say is if you like these videos, subscribe, uh, blah, 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 videos every Sunday and all the rest of it. But ultimately, stay cooler, my bisexual friends. Stay cooler.